Hi, welcome to another PC. I've just created Arch Linux, um, new config for Arch Linux. It's called AOR Lazuli. And the updates already are awaiting. Now, before I do any updates, you see this red thing here. We have this alias, so let's include that in the video as well. You know, I always teach more than the title of the video. We have a scale and we have a backup scale. It's quite interesting actually to do the exercise and say, let's do a backup scale. That means that when you do this, you get this folder. I've done already three of them. And it's today, the 30th, 1348, 1348. So this is the scale I just did. And I can compare these two, but I'll compare it not with these two, before updating, I do a backup scale. Now I update and I can see later on what the difference is between the first scale, well, ETC scale, and the last one. Because, like I said, I've made a new conkey. So it should become obvious if you compare the two folders that something changed. So upgrading it is, or updating it is, and again, the Arch Linux keys are coming in. Looks quite strange all these keys but it's the way it works now if you have done the update then you do again backup scale so 30 seconds later let's see 1348 1349 about a minute later these two folders were created and the difference between them compare is get rid of the same you don't want to see the same you want to see the difference and that's all that changed. It's so easy to follow up on the changes we make on uh, your ETC scale. So that's the thing that changed. Fine. So now you know. How do we get this new thing in your own folder in ETC? Config and then Conky. Go look for AOR Lazuli. It should be in here, I suppose. Uh, Arch Linux, yeah. Lazuli, alphabetically, should be in, in, in between of these two guys. So, scale is going to copy paste everything from this one, etc scale. Here, you see already that the conky AU or Lazuli is present, but it doesn't help you that it's there. You need to have it in your home directory. So, that's what this scale is for. Scale, let's go over it again. Alias, check the scale. What does it do? It's going to copy everything from etc scale to your home directory. Okay, so if this is my home directory and Lazuli is not here, then I'm gonna run it now. There it is, something twitched, something changed. Here is AUR Lazuli. That's it. You have now an updated system for this, this conkey. Now let's continue making uh, some changes to your system in order to have this uh, fully function, functional AOR Lazuli, you need to do some things. So this is what you get. All right, a new conkey, great, looks good, awesome. You might need to change the uh, ethernet network card so when you press EF config, IF config, you see your name of your card with your other uh, important variables, which I cannot rather not put in a video. But you also need to do something. And in my case, you see things are already working because it's actually the same computer, same desktop, but um, they're identical. There are two computers that are identical. So it's the same name. Um, so that's something you should maybe check out. Where do you check that out? Well, you go to the config of the conkey. Lazuli. Let's close other tabs. And then move like this. So, well, Ethernet is probably something. That's okay. So here this address is not correct probably for you. 100% for you. So you need to find out with ifconfig, Ctrl T, ifconfig, enter, and then you'll see 
what your um, network card is called and replace it. So control find, replace of control H. So F is find, H is replace, replaces with Eric. Yeah, no, not sure, of course not, but with your interface name. So that's one thing you need to do. And the other thing is has nothing to do with um, the Conkey. Well, it has, but it has to do with an application that's already installed in your system. Let's double check. So there are people out there that have Arch Linux D and they're making their own Arch Linux B and so on. So you need to be sure that VNstat is installed, basically. And then of course this command can run, otherwise it's, it's just error, right? It won't run. And it's going to find out, hey, how much did I download today or how much did I upload today per week, per month. So it needs to run a while before you get, you get the data. So it starts to gather the data in a few seconds from now. Then it will work. What do you need to do for it to work? Control T. You need to enable a service. sudo systemctl vnstat. Ah, sorry. Enable vn and something. So I'm not typing this. I'm using my tab. And that's it. That's what you need to do, sudo system ctl enable vnstat. There are some symlinks that are created from here, well, from here to here, and another one, and that's it. No, that's not it, and I can't do that in this video. You need to reboot. You need to be able that the, the machine will actually start this uh, service and everything. And from that point on, from after re the reboot, and give it some time, you'll see at first some lines in today. They won't be for a week because there is not seven days that have been passed or 30 days that have been passed. So it's a daily thing that will show up first and then after seven days you get a week report saying 10 gigabytes uh, uploaded or received and so on. And that's what you need to do to actually have these three lines work for you. And for the rest, um, we can change colors, but I think we'd rather do that in another video. But this is something you need to do if you want to have these three lines. All right, enjoy.